Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to use prints here on ClickUp. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in ClickUp, I need you to hit the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. ClickUp Sprints is a feature designed to help teams, especially those managing time-based iteration for projects because, for one, Sprint allows you to organize tasks into short focus periods, usually one to four weeks, and track progress effectively. Now, the first thing that you can do is you might want to ensure that you have the option to enable the Sprint feature. And by doing so, you need to hover to the left side panel of your dashboard, click the uh, profile icon, click the settings here, and in the right side or left side, I'm sorry, there should be an option that says spaces under settings, depending on how you set up your ClickUp. Now, here, the sprint feature is indicated by the arrow button. You see that? There's going to be a flag, which is priority, and of course, this print, right? All I have to do is click on this print, and you need to make sure this is very important to enable the... Uh, now, want to make sure you turn on this option for all ClickUp apps. You have the priority. And if you click that, as you can see, you have that. You have the email, custom fields, time tracking, which is very good. Remap subtask due to dates, work in progress limits, time estimates, multiple assignments, tags, and show more. You have these print points, dependencies, complete warning and a lot more now now if you click on the default settings you would be forwarded to another page wherein you're gonna make sure that the settings are correct so that it would make your dashboard a little bit more um easier to navigate you see you can put in the sprint name for now you see that the sprint name must include index this variable displays a sequential number in each sprint name starting with one right for now i'm gonna leave it as it is you can uh, select a default template and in this case i'm going to maybe choose an action plan because or yeah action plan because again we are a group of individuals who work on the deep labs channel all right I'm going to use this template to make sure that one of our members are creating the templates one is recording a video and one is uploading and doing the back end i'm going to choose this for now and you after picking a list template to be used when sprints are created in these print folders you have a sprint duration you can choose the one until four weeks or you can have a custom duration wherein this sprint start by monday which is going to be default you can exclude the uh, non-working sundays and saturdays you can have a measure of effort is it going to be a sprint points time estimates custom field but for now i'm going to choose the uh, sprint points on the days format you might want to choose the uh these i'm going to leave it to you as of uh now but i'm going to choose the uh, default on the uh, default template it's uh the action plan again if you wanted to change that just hover to the drop down menu and select the uh, template that you wanted to use you can use the creative um, template now the uh, on the dashboard view you can automatically create a dashboard view for each sprint you also have the forecast options wherein you can manually confirm sprints to lock your forecast automatically lock your forecast to the sprint start day and time all right i'm gonna do that and all i have to do once you're done that click on save but i want you to check the automations tab now you see um for the automation um if you wanted this is just a handy feature when a sprint ends then mark sprint as done all right for example if a sprint has not already been marked done manually when the sprint ends it will become done at the same moment if you want it just click on that and once you're happy with it, I want you to click on save. Now, after that, we're going back to the workspace. And on the left side panel of your dashboard,
Now, hover down below on what we have created, which is going to be how to use ClickUp. You see that? There's a plus button. Now, you see the Sprint folder. I want you to click on it, and from here, we can rename this. Uh, something like maybe how to use ClickUp Sprint. Or maybe Deep Left. Mm, Sprint. Now, again, you can have the option to change the measure of effort. Are you going to use the Sprint Points? time estimates or even a custom field for the custom field you can search or add or edit fields you would be forwarded to the uh, custom field manager for example you wanted to have an appointment date draft date lunch date activity category audience funnel business stage client approval so i leave this to you but i'm not going to choose that for now if you wanted for example to have the uh maybe um, appointment date just click on this option field name and click on save and it the custom field will be added to the uh left side panel of your dashboard all right i'm gonna escape this for now go again to this print folder all right i'm gonna put in now you see you have the uh, if you choose the uh, sprint points you can again choose the uh, mondays as your default um startup right the uh, sprint duration is going to be five because you're excluded the mondays uh, sundays and uh saturdays and you have all these uh, settings like earlier remember we have uh we went here earlier on this print settings now here if you wanted to change let me try to to see if that will work right now in terms of the automation if you wanted to have more control right now we can uh, use the uh, we can now toggle and target it off for example when sprint is done you see you can create new sprint all right you can choose that or if when sprint is done then move tasks into the next sprint depending on your um goals and and, and uh, criteria you can also choose when sprint is done then auto archive old sprint and sprints before the most recent sprints will be automatically archived once you've done that all you have to do is click on done and click on create right so basically that's how you use click up sprints here on your account and it can help you manage your workloads effectively and improve collaboration making it easier to complete projects efficiently all right now once you have that you have the option to have a sprint reporting all right but as of the moment we don't have any sprint data to display but if you do you would be able to check the sprint velocity right and the current sprint burndown we have a separate video on how to deal with all of the sprint reporting um, we're gonna discuss that but for now, I believe that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.